as our listeners will know that uh, we track everything we do in my coaching work. We, we track it in detail. And that's because data doesn't lie. Uh, people lie. And when I say that, I don't mean that cynically, uh, but people have selective memory. Uh, but when we track everything with data, um, then we can see what's working and what isn't working. And uh, I stumbled on this uh, a couple of years ago in our work to help clients uh, successfully drop PPO plans. And there is a very common phrase that all of us have embedded in our mind and on the tip of our tongue. Um, and it's natural. It's, it's, it's a phrase that just rolls off our tongue. So I'm going to cut right to the chase and tell you what that important phrase to stop using is. Um, and, and the phrase that I want you to stop using is out of network out of network. Now that's a phrase that we all use. Uh, like maybe when we're talking to patients, I've heard, you know, doctors and team members say, you know, as of January 1st, uh, we'll be out of network with Delta. And that is really a phrase that I want to completely eliminate from your vocabulary. It's going to be hard because it's a, it's a phrase we've all used internally in dentistry for so many years. And I want to replace the phrase out of network with no longer contracted with. So imagine getting out a giant, uh, you know, uh, 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 marker and, and circling the phrase out of network and drawing a line through it. We're going to eliminate that phrase and we're going to replace it with no longer contracted with. It means exactly the same thing in, in terms of the actual meaning of the phrase, but it has a very different connotation for the patient. When patients hear out of network, let me tell you what happens. Naren, when patients hear out of network, many patients instantly flash back to their health care insurance. And in health care insurance, many health care insurance plans are what are called closed panel plans. You can only go to the doctors that are part of the panel uh, and receive benefits, receive your insurance benefits. If you choose to go to a doctor outside of, of the panel, the insurance company won't pay any benefits. That's the case with my own medical insurance, Naren. Um, Teresa and I have medical insurance, and really we, we think of our medical insurance kind of as catastrophic insurance. In other words, heaven forbid something would ever happen to us where we'd have a hospital stay or you know a long stay in a hospital or something like that. That's what our insurance is for. However, we, Teresa and I, both go to uh, a private care a primary provider. It's actually a doctor-doctor team, a husband and wife doctor-doctor team. Um, that they are not contracted with any uh, health insurance plans. We pay out of pocket for our well visits. And it's worth every nickel of it, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, we pay out of pocket for our well visits and we use our health care insurance to cover those risks we can't afford to take if there ever was any serious health episodes. But um, my insurance, uh, my health care insurance will not pay anything uh, to the out of network doctors that we go to for primary care. And, and so there's many people that think that if you use the term, you know, as of January 1st, we'll, we'll, we'll no longer be, we'll be out of network with Delta. They might assume that, oh, that works like my health care insurance and I can't come there and I, I can't use my benefits there. But contrary to health insurance, the vast, vast, vast majority of dental insurance is what's called open panel, meaning you can go anywhere and the insurance company will provide benefits to uh, out-of-network providers, unlike what happens in the, in the medical side. So we want to stop using the phrase um, out-of-network because it strikes terror. Many people just immediately kind of freeze up and they assume they can't come there. Um, and that's simply not true. And so we want to replace that phrase uh, with no longer contract with. So rather than saying, um, you know, effective January 1st, uh, we'll be out of network with Delta, <gasps> Oh, there goes terror, you know, in the mind of the patient. We're going to say, you know, effective January 1st will no longer be contracted with Delta. And then right behind that, we're going to say, and here's the good news. You can still come here for your care. Uh, we will file your claims for you like we always have. We'll do everything we can to help you get every dollar of benefit you have from that uh, Delta dental insurance policy. And so that simple pivot from... Uh, out of network to no longer contracted with can make a massive difference in the messaging that the patient hears.